council members from across the county. Cities like Santee, Chula Vista, Lemon Grove, Oceanside, Escondido, Poway, the city of San Diego, San Marcos, Vista, Coronado, and El Cajon. All of the cities and elected officials are different in many ways, but all agree that the gun show by Crossroads of the West should be allowed to operate here at the fairgrounds without any new onerous restrictions like age limits, ridiculous metal detectors, or bans on legal, commonly owned semi-automatic rifles. In April, we had hundreds of people show up to this meeting to show the massive, broad support the gun show enjoys. In July, our $10,000 gun show challenge proved that the opposition isn't telling the truth about what goes on at gun shows and that there is no truth to their claims about assault weapons or a lack of background checks and other falsehoods that they like to spread. Now we are showing you that elected officials from across the county do not agree that the city of Del Mar should dictate to you how the fairgrounds, which is a regional state-owned asset, should be used. Despite all the support that the, sh the gun show has, it's our belief that your record of past campaign, um, me, past campaign contributions to political candidates since 2012 from campaign finance reports and your anti-gun political leanings against Second Amendment paints a picture that you might be biased against guns and therefore will not be fair and objective in your decision. For example, Director Haydu, you've donated money to Prop 63, the gun control measure sponsored by Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom. Director Shank, you've donated thousands of dollars to gun banners like Hillary Clinton for President um, and Scott Peters for Congress. Director Watson, you've donated money to anti-Second Amendment disgra disgraced San Diego Mayor Bob Filner. Director Mead, you have donated money to Congressman Juan Vargas, who is vocal about gun bans. Director Barquette, you have donated thousands of dollars to Congressman John Garamendi, who is also pro-gun ban. And finally, President, President Shoemaker, you have donated money to Governor Jerry Brown, who has signed many anti-Second Amendment bills into law. We believe that who you're writing checks to, who you give money to, reveals a lot about your priorities and interests. So we urge you to follow the law not paint thousands of law-abiding citizens as undesirable and bad, not go down the path of intolerance, and vote to allow the continuation of the gun show at your September 11th meeting, despite your record of political contributions. Thank you very much. Yeah, I gotta clarify something. You said, you said that uh, it is, I, I, I am gonna to respond to this because she said, what she said was that she got letters from, from uh, Santee and Oceanside what you got were letters from individuals on their stationery. That is not the city themselves coming back and saying they are anti-guns. They wrote these programs. letters as representatives. Of uh, no, they did not. Cities. I'm sorry, I ascertained that they have not. They are. They are right. They here. signed it as a city council member or as a mayor. So. Exactly. That's not well, a position from the other side. 